than you what these goddamn sun words is doing in Amherst, Ohio. Four police stepping up patrols in one community because of bad behavior from kids. Several businesses say the owners there say, yep, it's about time. That's what's happening, and they are tired of it. It's forcing them to take some drastic measures to protect their property and their customers. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brian Duff. And I'm Nicole Versansky. Our senior New Yorker live now in Amherst with new details about this. Yeah, so okay, they got Shaniqua on the scene, so that's a context group. <laughs> Just what's happening? How bad is the situation that's prompting all this new action? Suburb of Cleveland. Things are so bad that many of the business owners here in downtown Amherst are putting signs on the door saying that more than two underage kids are not allowed to come in unless they have an adult. Typically, the Sandstone Coffee House here on Park Avenue in Amherst is a quiet place for people to enjoy a sip and meet up. Large cappuccino, extra shot. But lately, manager Anna Wallace says things have been out of control with underage kids causing havoc. We were finding pens in our toilets. Um, just last week, there were kids that brought in water guns last day of school and were spraying our bathroom walls. So it's... Yeah, they're just not behaving. This does not sound yeah, gliders. Like <laughs> gliders. That's gliders. The, the stuff they complain about is definitely gliders. Yeah, this is this might be gliders, man. Pens in the bath. Think about how think about the shit that gliders gotta put up with. Pens in the toilet and think about it. <laughs> Think about it. Blocking toilets, blocking sinks, uh, shooting water guns in the bathrooms, the walls. May, 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 the maybe wall. smoke, uh, maybe stink bombs. Yo, and 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 these people think this is a big deal. It, it, I guess it is a big deal because, like, they lose to a certain level of civility, man. Wow, y'all see this? Press one if you see this. <laughs> Press one if you see if if you, if you see this glider problems. We were finding pens in our toilets. Um, just last week, there were kids that brought in water guns last day of school and were spraying our bathroom walls. So it's yeah, they're just not behaving. Now she meets some fucking dreamy fucking white stud who wants to take her to fucking. Manhattan or fucking DC or fucking Baltimore to buy a fixer up or sight unseen and start their life in the big city. Imagine this culture shock she's going to be in for, man. When she goes to the big city with her fucking bow and fucking lands in fucking Columbia Heights, DC or in Fucking Harlem and shit. Her brain's gonna be on a 404 error. <laughs> if she can't handle this shit. Beat up. Large cappuccino, extra shot. But lately, manager Anna Wallace says things have been out of control with underage kids causing havoc. We were finding pens in our toilets. Um just last week, there were kids that brought in water guns last day of school and were spraying our bathroom walls. So it's, yeah, they're just not behaving the way they need to be. We actually had a parent um, of one of our regular kids that is very well behaved come in concerned for her son's safety. And so after the... <laughs> Please. Blackistan would love these problems. Yo, this would be the best day. Yo, listen, they would do a, 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 a feature on this. If Think about it. If this happened in Blackistan, you would never hear about it. They try to cover up the murders in the drive-bys. You would never hear about this if this was Blackistan. Definitely hear about this shit. <laughs> you, this, this, will be called, this will be called the new Black Wall Street. Right. 
This is nothing. This wouldn't register. No black person would ever fix their face to complain to a news station about these things. Not behaving the way they need to be. We actually had a parent um, of one of our regular kids that is very well behaved come in concerned for her son's safety. And so after the incidents escalated, she and some of the other business owners decided to act, putting up signs like this one restricting how many people under the age of 18 can come inside without an adult. They also called Amherst police and officers agreed to step up patrols and do walkthroughs. And the sign seems to be keeping people away. Um, oh yeah, this definitely glass. <laughs> they, they're, they're respecting the sign. Yeah, they're doing it, they're doing the right thing. That's definitely glad it. They read the sign and be like, oh, well, two of us can't, hey, uh, it's, it's 10 of them rolling up on the spot. It's like, oh, shit. Yeah, he um, went outside. To, we got to go. <laughs> we got to go. We can't go in there. Sons would still go in there and fuck. Sons would be mad. Sons would be pissed. They would want to find out who fucking did that shit. So their mothers, son mothers would be up here accusing this fucking woman of racism. she get her ass kicked. Son mothers, could you imagine some sons? Just all they did was leave a pen in a toilet or fucking spray a wall with a water gun one time on the last day of school and you come up with a fucking sign the next day? Man, it'd be mammy's up there kicking her ass, dragging her all up and down on her street, man. Great Richard Richie would already have a doctor by now. Oh yeah, definitely. Without a doubt. So I I can't breathe. I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> yeah, man. Listen, man. Hey, Go ahead. But, but I was going to say, this is a, a good glimpse, very good glimpse of what America could be without sons. Yeah, this would be the problems. And she said on the last day of school, she didn't say they spray paint in the I mean, they were um, water gun in the walls. All of a she said on the last day of school. God damn, you can't give them a break. You can't let the glider kids just blow off some steam on the last day of school. Oh, shit. Ain't this shit all year. God damn it. <laughs> damn, man. Shit, you hard, man. Y'all motherfuckers don't play, man. Shit, man. But when it comes to us, y'all put up with all types of shit. Well, the gliders know better, right? You know, the they should know better. Seems to be keeping yeah, people away. Exactly. Um, but. There have been instances where the police have had to be involved and they just don't listen when you tell them that they can't stay. Police have to come and escort them out and it's it's not great for a business. 12-year-old Isabel Whoa, that sounds funny. sad it had to come to this. Yeah, kids are very bad. They like steal from sugar buzz and all that stuff. So It gives kids like you though a bad name because right. you're... Yeah, that's why they have all the signs up and everything. But Bernadette says... Nah, these are gliders, man. It's not... What is it? You said, Johnny, you said 96.3% glider tail? 96.3%, yes. Mixed race is 1.97. So it's the biracial kids. Sounds like glider problems. Yeah, man. This is... This is... This is amazing, man. This is this is what you deal with when you fucking God damn it, man. Y'all got it so good. Man. So Ock is your next move to Amherst? <laughs> nah, man. I feel sorry for these people. I'm not gonna come out there and ruin this shit for these people, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I was gonna say, I right, that's why the sun men be following the gliders, huh? Yeah. If I go out there, think about how I would stick out out there, man. I would stick out like a sore thumb out there, man. I, I'm not. I, I know. I, I believe gliders should have some spaces, man, where they can just be gliders, man, and, sh and do their thing, man. I, I don't want to, because here's the thing. I might go there, and then some son from Cleveland see me out there, just be traveling through, like, oh, man, it, we, we didn't think that they can come out there, too. Because when sons see other sons, they want to come there, too. Because it's like, I don't want them, I want them to just go through there and see all white people. And feel unwelcome, man. Yeah, they feel comfortable when they see one yeah. summer. Or two. Oh, yeah, I don't want them to see you yeah. welcome, man. Nah, he ain't out there. You know what, though? The more I watch this article, this news article, I mean, it seems to me like 
uh, it's only happening to this one store. I don't see anybody like. Are, is she going to go to other stores that have the same sign, or is it just one store? This no, uh, said, Sun Woman she saw. Said, she said she gathered up all those store owners together to do um figure to, um do something. She's a leader. She's uh -oh. like a leader. Okay. She's had. Hey. hey. Hey, Ak, who said that the some people back in the day used to put the crosses on their own line to keep away oh, yeah. the some people? Yeah, yeah, that's listen, man. You gotta do whatever you gotta do, man. Cause this is if you lived here, if they say you a son, you already lived here. You already live here, you ain't gone there, you already lived there. You one of the what two percent sons out there. Man, you got it good, man. I wouldn't invite no family over. I wouldn't even tell my family where the fuck I lived at, man. Fuck, not the time I live in Cleveland, man. Fuck. That, they they gonna have to put a tell on you, follow you, the surveillance. Yeah. Find out where you. Yo, I, I'm gonna be taking two laps, all right? <laughs> right, exactly, man. Cousin. I'd never take the same route home ever, man. This this is this is utopia, man. These are just kids blowing off a little steam, and it resulted in a fucking crackdown from the fucking white glider adults. The glider adults cracked down on their asses, man. Ah, you notice who ends up doing the story? Yeah, Shaniqua. That's why I'm I, I'm hoping it wasn't the two percent sons. Cause, Cause I'm hoping it's not the two percent sons out there fucking this shit up. Four police stepping up patrols in one community because of bad behavior from kids. Several businesses say the owners there say, "Yep, it's about time." That's what's happening, and they are tired of it. It's forcing them to take some drastic measures to protect their property and their customers. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brian Duff. And I'm Nicole. Sign said no more than two We're seeing New Yorker live now in kids. Amherst with new details about this. Yeah, so. Just what's happening? How bad is the situation that's prompting all this new action? Things are so bad that many of the business owners here in downtown Amherst are putting signs on the door saying that more than two underage kids are not allowed to come in unless they have an adult. Typically, the Sandstone Coffee House here on Park Avenue in Amherst is a quiet place for people to enjoy a sip and meet up. First cappuccino, extra shot. But lately, manager Anna Wallace says things have been out of control with underage kids causing havoc. We were finding pens in our toilets. Um, just last week, there were kids that brought in water guns last day of school and were spraying our bathroom walls. So it's... Yeah, they're just not behaving the way they that used to be. So, we that actually had so a parent um, of one of our regular kids that is very well behaved come in, concerned for her son's safety. And so after the incidents escalated, she and some of the other business owners decided to act, putting up signs like this one, restricting how many people under the age of 18 can come inside without an adult. They also called Amherst police and officers agreed to step up patrols and do walkthroughs. And the sign seems to be keeping people away, um, but there have been instances where the police have had to be involved and they just don't listen when you tell them that they can't stay. Police have to come and escort them out and it's, it's not great for a business. 12-year-old Isabella tells me it's sad it had to come to this. Yeah, kids are very bad. They like steal from sugar buzz and all that stuff, so... It gives kids like you, though, a bad name because right. you're... Yeah, that's why they have all the signs up and everything. But Bernadette says the parents have to do better. She's witnessed too many leaving their kids unsupervised. So that's the babysitting here. They're, you know, they drop them off and they leave. This is not a daycare. No, it is not. No, it is not. And I, I really feel strongly that that's, that's what has to change. Amherst police saying that they're stepping up these patrols right now during the summer months so they can assure that there are not any more problems here in these businesses and in the residential neighborhoods. We'll keep you updated. <laughs> Yo, com compare this to Jackson or Memphis. Oh, my. I know, right? 
Amherst uh, Police Department has a staff of around 53. That includes everybody, including, you know, dispatch and everything. So they probably something, I don't know. Something just doesn't add up. I, I think that's just a Karen making shit up. Just it's overblowing it. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to Cleveland, man. Another violent weekend in Cleveland. Shooting after shooting, taking lives. Now we talking. Now we talking. Here we, here we go. Back Zero to, to black. 100 real quick. Yeah, man. Back to the to, to the to the black city, man. The, the demographics of Cleveland got to be over more than 2% because that town is probably 2% or 1% sons. Amherst does. People are fighting to stop the violence, even as the rate of violence continues to rise. Our Harry Boomer spoke with one young community activist who will not give up because he knows how it feels to lose a loved one to violence. And Harry joins us now with more. Boy, Harry, it's uh, we've seen a lot, and this just goes on and on, doesn't it? That's right. You know, guns ring out on a regular basis in Cleveland. I heard some gunshots this weekend myself, and I called the police because I didn't want somebody bleeding out on the street. I heard a neighbor tell her grandchildren, get in the house, because she didn't want them to get hurt or worse. As bad as it is, there are those like Donnell Stevens doing all they can to change the culture of violence. All call takers are currently busy. Hello? Your call is important. Hello? I'm still here with Hang you, ma'am. Don't hang up. call will be handled in the order okay. in which it was received. 911 is the last place you want to be put on hold, especially as violence continues to rock our community. Eminem, Eminem, please stop, please stop. Panic in the voice of this woman who's calling 911 for help for 19-year-old Demetrius Hargrove. He was shot in his head Saturday afternoon on Dibble Avenue in Huff. He still had a gun with an extended magazine in his hand. Hargrove. <laughs> he still had a gun with an extended magazine in his hand. Oh, God. Salute to Judah 2523, man. Salute to you, man. Appreciate you, man. We, we... Yo, this is all. Uh, that's That last statement was par for the course, though, right? It's like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, he got his brains blown out, but he was trying to, put, he was prepared for the situation. Everybody got down by the gun. Down down by the gun. On Dibble Avenue in Huff. He still had a gun with an extended magazine in his hand. Hargrove died on the scene. There were other shootings this weekend as well. A 23 year old man was shot in his face and arm on Kinsman Avenue. And according to CPD, two women were also shot. It's carried on drama. It's like carried on. Like, so if something happens to somebody close to you, now I inherit that problem. Now I can't let my. I can't let my friend die in vain without nothing happening. Now I got to go seek revenge. And they're not thinking about their life. They're thinking about their friend. They worry about what everybody else thinks of them. Oh, I'm a sucker. Stevens, who lost a cousin to gun. They worry about what everybody else think of them. That shit is so fucking true, man. That shit is true, right, Conserver? No, that's a fact. It's like... Everybody in the hood is like, oh, you ain't going to do nothing about that? Motherfucker killed your cousin and shit? What the fuck's up, man? You, you, you ain't riding? Y'all ain't riding for <laughs> And they be smoking I, on I, it, too. I'll do you one better. He, man, you going to let him call you a bitch? Yeah, How you want to die? They be yeah, like, I'm man. smoking on this dude. I'm smoking on that dude. Yeah, they just, it's just, it's just a mess, man. Uh, and you want, and, you, and listen, man. All it would take is for fucking three single mothers to move to Amherst. Mm. Three single mothers, let's just say Section 8, so you got four or five kids. Three single mothers with four or five kids and put them in, like, the same four-block area. Like, you, you, they just, just to where they could be, all three of them were in close enough proximity to go to the same elementary school, right? Murder rate would quintuple within three years. Two hundred percent increase. Yeah, man, it would be. It would that would be, be a four hundred percent increase. Yeah, it would. It, yep. it, <laughs> right, yo, I. But even like they don't even gotta say anything. Like he could be like staring at you, and your boy would be like, "Man, you see how he's looking at you? Thought you gonna look at you like that?" Oh well, yeah, definitely. You, and then you know, obviously, you gotta kill him now. It's never, and it's never over, too. Like. Like like we saw the story with the guy at the um the LA Fitness, he 
he got into it with an employee at LA Fitness. The next time he went back, the employee fucking hit him upside the head with a weight bar, almost killed him. Damn. Like it's never over, man. Too in any situation with sons. And they're not thinking about their life. They're thinking about their friend. They worry about what everybody else thinks of them. Oh, I'm a sucker. Stevens, who lost a cousin to gun violence, says that way of thinking is leading to almost daily deaths. He says each of us must work to change 